If you take a closer look at the silhouette of Terran units, you can immediately see their main distinction from other races. The Zerg are primarily triangular, the Protoss are primarily circular, and the Terran are primarily squares, or cubes if you want to be technical about it. Some units, like the Banshee, give a composition of Terran units a greater variety of shapes, but the primary shape of most Terran unit compositions is still very boxy. Shape, probably more so than sound or color, is how game developers keep different races distinct and recognizable. Some players may be hard of hearing, so you can't really rely on sound for race distinction. A good portion of players will have some kind of color blindness. Therefore, the shape of a silhouette will be the most effective way to differentiate races. We can look at just the Terran race alone and still see that shape plays a large role in both aesthetic and gameplay. Varied shapes keep any visual composition interesting. Too many triangular shapes, too many rectangles, or too many circular shapes will make a visual less interesting. The variety of shapes in a Terran composition keeps the visuals interesting and engaging. Distinct silhouettes also allow players to easily understand the unit composition of a group of units with just a quick glance, and this visual distinction allows players to interpret more information faster. The introduction of skins messes with this particular utility of good visual distinction, but I think the skins are cool enough to let most people overlook this fact. Squares are often used in art to convey neutral but strong characters which is consistent with the Terran storyline. They aren't necessarily good, and they aren't entirely bad. Rainer's raiders seem like the good guys, but they've done some questionable things. And while the Dominion is considered bad, they've also done some good things. Humans probably have the most adaptable sense of morality in StarCraft, and it's appropriately reflected in their art. Squares are also used to convey a sense of masculinity, which is a running theme with the Terran race. Rainer, Tychus, Menx, and most other Terran male characters speak with a generally masculine voice. They have square, masculine builds, and have traits generally associated with masculine characters. Even the women among Terran characters have traits that are more generally considered masculine, although their art tends to be more circular and feminine, a trait that circular art is often used to portray. Boxes and squares can also imply a sense of modularity. Children inherently understand that they can build, knock down, and rebuild with boxes. They don't tend to have the same sense with pyramids or spherical objects, which leads the player to more easily understand the Terran's unique ability to move buildings around in a modular fashion. But even though squares are usually used to portray a more natural stance, StarCraft uses this neutrality pretty well. Let's take Han Solo as an example. Han Solo is an example of a well-made neutral character. His morality goes both ways, but he's still an active character who makes his own decisions. The Dragonborn from Skyrim is an example of a terrible neutral character. As the Dragonborn, you usually don't make any active decisions or take any active role in the storyline. You make some decisions about which factions to join, but then you just do as you're told for the entirety of any given storyline. And even when you do make a decision, you're only picking out of the options offered to you. You can pick the Imperials, or you can pick the Stormcloaks, but you can never tell both factions to suck an egg while you go off and start your own faction. At no point does the Dragonborn ever take charge. But coming back to StarCraft, StarCraft has neutral characters and storylines correctly. Raynor takes charge and makes his own decisions, despite the questionable morality of those decisions. Minx also acts in his own self-interest, but at least he acts out of his own free will. None of these Terrans just sit around and do what some asshole tells them to do. Thanks for watching this video, and thank god that this series is finally over. Depending on how I edit this, this might be the shortest one of these videos that I do. In a previous video I said that the Terran were the most boring race, and I stand by that, but still. This video isn't short because I don't like them, it's just because I covered most things already. There are links to the Protoss and Zerg videos on screen and in the description below, and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. You reading all this? You have your orders, Mr. Findlay. Carry them out. Titus, what have you done? I made a deal with the devil, Jimmy. She dies, I go free. We all got our choices to make. Damn shame.